Hi guys, uh, this is my latest video on the water cycle. Uh, this is going to be a, a group of videos that I'm planning to do. I'm going to do the carbon cycle and recycling materials. If you look on your uh, AQA GCSE biology or GCSE combined science um, spec, you'll find it under 4.7.2.2. So, here goes. The first question to ask is, what is the water cycle? Well, um, it describes really the existence of movement of water on, in and above the Earth. So Earth's water is constantly um, being moved and it's always changing state from things like liquid to vapour to ice and back again. For your GCSE, they're going to be asking you questions on the main uh, processes and that's what I'm going to concentrate on in this video. So in a nutshell what is happening is that um, from rainfall falling onto the ground, okay, onto the mountains and onto the ground. Some of that water is being used by plants um, but much of it is coming as runoff and it's going back into the oceans or it's percolating into the soil okay or it's being stored in lakes and it eventually makes its way to the oceans and then from the ocean or from the surface of lakes um, you're then going to get evaporation occurring so evaporation the sun is there's the sun the sun is heating the oceans and you're getting uh, evaporation occurring and as the um, water vapor goes into the sky it condenses and it cools to become clouds um, and this is what's happening all of the time you're getting a cycle of water going through the whole of the earth okay and this is continuous and obviously this is quite important because without water there would be no life So if we look at uh, the first process, precipitation, that is just a big word for rainfall. In your exam you can use the word rain or rainfall instead of precipitation. And what's happening, as you can see, is that um, water is being released from the clouds, okay, and it's falling onto um, the ground, okay, and it's falling as either rain, snow or hail. Now some of that rain is going to be taken up by uh, plants, um, other uh, rainfall is going to actually uh, percolate into the soil, okay, and some of it is going to run off the surfaces um, of the land. So some of the water will be taken up by plants through their roots and uh, they will use that in photosynthesis. Uh, but a lot of water will be uh, released through the through the leaves of the stomata um, through the process of transpiration and that will uh, then mean that the water will move into the atmosphere as water vapour. Not to forget that water is being used by um, organisms, by animals as well. Um, obviously they're respiring uh, but also uh, they will be releasing water in urine and faeces and, if you're a mammal, in sweat. Water is evaporating constantly from the surface of the land and the rivers, lakes and oceans of the world. Um, and it, as it evaporates, it's going to start to cool. Okay? So when it cools, it will then start to condense and then form clouds. And when it starts to condense, obviously it will start to cool again. And as it cools, it then will form uh, liquid um, water and then precipitation will occur again. So every drop of water that is on this planet is being cycled all of the time. So if you think actually, uh, the water that is in within you has probably been in the bodies of many living organisms before you such as dinosaurs. So to recap, um, the key words that you're really going to need to know are going to be precipitation, 
Um, you're going to need to know about transpiration and respiration of loss of water vapour from plants and animals, evaporation from the sun, the sun's heat, heat the sun heats the earth's surface and the liquid turns to water vapour. Um, you'll need to know about condensation as well um, and then the cooling and back to precipitation. So those are the main stages of the water cycle. So, to summarise, the water cycle provides fresh water for plants and animals on land before draining into the seas. Water is continuously evaporated and precipitated. And that is the water cycle. My next video is going to go through the carbon cycle and the importance of recycling um, nutrients through ecosystems.